Hello everybody, today I have an explanation video for all of you, and I'm sure all of you elevator enthusiasts know about the Dover Buzz. But the question is, what is the Dover Buzz? Well, in this video, I am going to be explaining and showing you of behind the scenes of what the Dover Buzz actually is and basically showing you why it is such an ionic thing in the elevator community. So without further ado, let's go ahead and learn a little history behind it. So this particular buzzer was used in many Dover Impulse elevators throughout the 1980s and late 1990s. And then ThyssenKrupp took over in 2001 and they used these buzzers until 2010 and now since then, from 2011 to current, ThyssenKrupp uses the Ionic grocery store beep. So back then, from 1980 to like 2010, these buzzers were used in many Dovers and ThyssenKrupp elevators. So anywho, that's a little history behind it. So now I'm going to reveal to you what the Dover buzz actually is. So you see this right here? This little thing here is the Dover buzz. That's right. This is a very tiny buzzer. These buzzers were also used in a lot of Simplex 4002 fire alarm panels as well. So this is a Star Micronics PMB series, three volts DC mini buzzer. However, in the elevators, these are actually Star PMB-24 DC mini buzzers. So I bought this buzzer off eBay for $8 and it pretty much sounds exactly the same like on a Dover or a ThyssenKrupp elevator. So there you go. So this is basically the Dover buzz. This is a Star Micronics PMB-03 3 volts DC mini buzzer. This particular buzzer was made in Japan, as you can see. So yeah, this buzzer is really, really small. So look at the size of this thing, super small. So I don't know if you can see in the reflection of my light, but you see that little tiny piece of vinyl plastic basically vibrates from an internal magnet, which basically vibrates at a frequency of around 400 Hertz. And then that's basically, you know, the sound that you hear whenever the elevator passes a floor. Some buzzers, um, like this one here, can sound really raspy at times because the buzzer is either running out of buzzer fluid or, you know, the buzzer itself is wearing out. So, anywho, I'm going to demonstrate this buzzer with a single Duracell AAA battery. And yes, even though this buzzer runs on 3 volts DC, it actually runs really well on 1.5 volts. So anywho, hopefully I can do this one one hand here. So I'm going to demonstrate the Dover buzz. So let me go ahead and just connect the positive to the red wire. And when I received this buzzer, it did not have any wires. So what I did is I grabbed some very tiny micro wires and I decided to solder them on to the points here. And I also used heat shrinking tubes to make it look nice and all. So let's go ahead and demonstrate the Dover buzz. So this is basically, you know, you'll basically hear this in the elevator as it passes a floor. So here we go. So that's basically the floor passing chime. This, this next one that I'm about to demonstrate is fire service recall slash nudge mode. Basically what that is, is that when the elevator is, you know, in nudge mode, the buzzer will be in continuous until the door is completely closed. As for fire service, 
the buzzer will constantly stay on until the elevator has reached the main floor. So, and when the door opens, the buzzer shuts off. And when the elevator is in fire service, this buzzer will not be, you know, beeping or anything. So, anywho, I'm going to demonstrate nudge mode. Hope that wasn't too annoying, but yes, that was nudge mode. And now I'm going to demonstrate the ThyssenKrupp floor passing chime from when these buzzers were used from 2001 to 2010. So there you guys go. This is basically what the Dover Buzz is. And as you can see, I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning when I revealed this. You may have noticed that there is a positive and a negative connection here. And of course, I obviously, you know, wired this up the right way. So yeah, this little mini buzzer is a little tiny beast. And this thing is super tiny. So, anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this little explanation and demonstration of what the Dover Buzz is. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments section below of this video. And if you enjoy the commentary, then please be sure to like, comment, rate, and of course subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.